Hi everybody. Students for Liberty set out the goal of promoting liberty to the empowering the next generation of leaders. By leaders, I don't mean the usual step who might be to your mind, like Margaret Thatcher or Benjamin Netanyahu. But whether people with the ability to promote and initiate liberty and to instill inspiration in others to do so. Leaders, as I see them, shouldn't be in the business of cultivating horde of followers in the business of producing more leaders. Whatever they might be, Students for Liberty can affect their surrounding as ambassadors of the idea that is liberty. This goal is well beyond politics. It's practical at home, at school, aiming on the beach hawker, clamoring for inclusive selling rights on the street. As a doctor in the hospital, whatever you might be, you can promote liberty. Students for Liberty was founded in 2008 with no user instruction. The founding president, Alexander McCorbin, and his partners ventured into uncharted terrain and did their best to keep it growing. They did it consistently practice one key procedure all this time in stopping for a moment and considering what did we do wrong? What lesson is there to be learned? Ever since, and for the last nine years, McCorbin has been sending emails with lists of lesson and uh, other members have learned it, laid out in short and simple points. This procedure enabled this organization to prosper and grow by an order of magnitude. I made a promise to myself not only to inspire and support other students, but to allow myself to learn from them and communicate what I have learned to others. Here are two points. One, as a leader, you shouldn't be concerned in what you can teach others, but with what you can learn from them. Two, you should stop and think, what am I doing here? What was my goal at the outset? And what the extent did I fail to hold it? Three, passion is the fuel needed in order to keep promoting, which is, which is important. Don't stop to it within others. Warm it and help others to direct it into the proper channels. Passion is relatively prevalent among students and young people and is the engine to our activism and our most valuable asset. Without passion, we have precious little. That's why I had to walk out to look away when it comes to interact with the activists, which I didn't see eye to eye due to the fire personality. As eventually, this fire is the signal called by man from afar. When the promoting of liberty is married to passion and polished with the tools we honing in the capacity of student for liberty, then we meet our girls. Sometimes we dig in the dark without ever knowing to what extent our action paves the way for others. Sometimes this digging can be hard and frustrating and not always get the credit to deserve it. It might seem all too pointless. But if I have learned something, then it's that you should never assume that it's pointless. Things you say and do have consequences, most of which you will never be aware of. In the end of the day, our goal in Student for Liberty is not only to make ourselves more polished in the way of promoting liberty and attracting people to do the same in your field, but also to better ourselves socially and maybe occupationally. Everyone has a place and everyone can become a leader. All you need is the passion to fight for a few 
free society, free academy, and free market. As an end note, I'd like to cure the favorite I want, which helps me during two time. Anyone who fight for future leave it in it today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first regional conference, Israel.